To say my house is a disaster is an understatement. So here we wound up doing a science project. So we gotta clean this mess up. We are currently renovating our other bathroom. So I am going to clean this one because we have four people sharing it right now. So it is a bit of a disaster. So this is on our to-do list as well today. And then we also did some grocery shopping and I really need to finish cleaning out the medicine cabinet. So I've got some medicine here, so I'm gonna probably do that today. We've got dishes and some more groceries that I need to put up. So anyway, we've got a lot to get done today. And here is my living room. So yeah, we have a ton to get done, like I said. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a massive house clean with me 2024 video. I did a ton of cleaning this particular day. So this video is extremely long. So I hope it gives you tons of homemaking motivation to extreme clean with me. And if you are like me and have a really messy house, then this really is the perfect video to put on any device and clean with me. I hope this new house clean with me video is everything you need for today. So without too much more talking, let's go ahead and jump into today's video and give you that inspiration. House cleaning is a part of my daily stay-at-home mom cleaning routine. I am always doing some kind of restocking, decluttering, organizing, or Sunday reset. And it just depends on the day and what I need to get done to, as to what I need to do for that day. Depends on what my day looks like. Honestly, every day is completely different. There are some days where I really need to tackle kitchen organization and all of that, but thankfully I didn't have to do a ton of that in this particular video. I just really needed to get everything clean and reset for the week because honestly my house was a disaster. So I really felt like a Sunday reset was really what I needed to get everything completely ready to go and just be organized in general. Songs that I 
have been seeing a ton of new cleaning videos that have a ton of spring cleaning motivation in them. And so I really have been super motivated to do home resets and home refresh and a bunch of weekend cleaning. So I hope this video gives you some weekend cleaning motivation as well because let me tell you, there is a ton of deep cleaning that is very real in my home. So if you are new to my channel and you have not gotten a chance to check out my content before or you haven't had a chance to check out any of my new cleaning videos, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for taking the time to watch first of all and I would love if you would consider subscribing. I do post a ton of real life content as a stay at home mom of two young children. I have very real raw content a lot of days for you guys so if you are interested in that type of content then like I said please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on that content. I winded up putting a lot of these groceries in this blue basket. I actually keep my groceries, some of them in my laundry room on a black shelf because I just don't have enough room in my kitchen. It's just not very big. And so I tend to put some of the groceries in there. But anyway, I wanted to share this real life mess with you and give you some massive clean with me motivation because this really was a complete disaster cleaning. And I know that as a mom of two, my kids are just going to be there a lot and they love to be involved. And so when I am doing any kind of tidying or cleaning my messy house, they love to tidy up with me and they love to be a part of the cleaning. So I just usually will create real life cleaning videos for you guys. So anyway, this is me just putting away some of the groceries. And of course, my little boy loves to help with that. So he is in there just having the time of his life helping put away groceries. Don't be a stranger. Inside the cyclone Could this moment be meant to be?
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out I feel like cleaning my kitchen is one of those rooms that always has a ton of mess to it. No matter how much I clean it, there's always more to clean in there. And I try to stay on top of doing kitchen clean out type stuff regularly, but I'm just going to be honest. It's just always a disaster in here. I am curious, do you guys clean your kitchen a lot? And if you do, what type of cleaning do you do? Do you usually do like a deep cleaning, an organizing, a complete clean out? What, what exactly do you do whenever you clean your kitchen? Is it usually just a quick tidy or do you clean it once a day? Let me know down in the comments. Seasons, but all I hear is your voice. I know my limits. You can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now, just to see you again. And I've been counting down. Anytime I do a massive house clean with me type video for you guys, or if I'm just doing a massive cleaning in my house in general, I love to have a diffuser going or candles going. I just feel like it makes everything more cozy and cleaned feeling after I have completely cleaned in a room. And so after I finished cleaning up the kitchen, of course, I had to light my diffuser and my sweet little girl decided that she wanted to help with that. So she is doing it all by herself. And of course, she's turning on the diffuser for me after she helped clean up the kitchen and all that good stuff. But anyway, like I said, I just feel love. I just love having diffusers going and I have been especially loving the orange scent. Let me know what kind of scents you put in your diffusers if you do use a diffuser. And if you don't, if you like candles, let me know what kind of candles you like to light as well. We got millions of reasons to let it all go. been really needing to clean my medicine cabinet out and I'm going to be honest I don't particularly like to clean that on camera I have done it before but I feel like I have to take a ton of medications and personal things out and it's just for privacy reasons not that we have anything that's really secretive or anything but I just feel like not everyone wants to know wants everyone to know what kind of medications they're on. There's just some things you just prefer to keep personal. So whenever I am cleaning out my medication cabinets and stuff like that, 
just like my little boy, like he's on certain medications for his stomach and things like that. And I just, I know that he may not want all of that shared once he gets older on YouTube. And it's one of those things that once it's out there, it's kind of out there. So I try to keep certain things private just to respect him, especially with him being so little and the rest of my family as well. But anyway, um, so I did clean out the bins that the medication were in and kind of showed you a before and after. And then I went ahead and jumped into some dinner. I actually looked up a recipe for pork chops. So I did them right in the oven because if you have been following me for a while, you may or may not know I will burn water. It is not my strong suit when it comes to cooking. So I usually will have my husband cook or I will have him helping me or I tend to look up recipes and make sure I'm cooking it for the right amount of time on the right temperature and all that kind of stuff just because I will royally screw it up if I don't. But anyway, these actually turned out pretty good. They're just pork, so, ch ugh, pork chops seasoned with salt and pepper and I just threw them in the oven and it said to cook them until they were golden brown on each side which was supposed to take like 20 minutes but honestly these took closer to an hour and I think it was because they were super thick but it was a really easy dinner and, and it was actually pretty good so then I jumped into cleaning up my living room and of course my bathroom we are doing a major remodel on my husband and my bathroom and so we are having to share one bathroom right now and it gets pretty messy pretty easily and it's extremely cluttered in there which I don't particularly love. I would much rather prefer a cluttered organized bathroom but it is what it is so I'm just trying to stay on top of cleaning it so anyway, I do wind up cleaning that as well. Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before and now when I got you it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Tonight, what a time to be alive. Just 
extremely long clean with me gave you tons of extreme cleaning motivation to do a massive house clean with me for 2024 and if you do enjoy these new house clean with me videos that I've been posting or like I said before if this is your first time checking out my cleaning motivation 
on my channel. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next one. And if you need some more cleaning motivation, make sure you check out this video right here and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.